More than 0.4 million jobs have been cut in the oil and gas sector in the year 2020, according to Restart Energy. Half of those jobs were in the United States where big exploration and most large oil service companies are headquartered. Oil and gas companies worldwide are taking an axe to their employment roles, shedding workers to survive what is expected to be a prolonged stretch of weak demand. Exxon Mobil Corporation said it will cut its workforce by 15% or about 14,000 people along with other major Chevron Corporation and Royal Dutch Shell. Coronavirus has devastated stretches of the global economy with energy, travel and hospitality among the industries hit hardest. Energy companies were already struggling with weak returns, particularly those operating in US shale regions, but have had to double down on cost cuts as investors pressure companies to improve margins. In addition to Exxon, Chevron Corporation, Australia's Woodside Petroleum Limited and Canada's Sanovas Energy all announced plans in recent weeks to cut staff. Global fuel demand slumped by more than a third in the spring. While consumption has recovered somewhat, it remains lower than a year ago with major economies resuming lockdowns to contain the pandemic. The downturn has been particularly harsh in the United States, the world's largest crude oil producer. The nation has recorded the most deaths from coronavirus and the damage from the pandemic has sent, un has sent unemployment to about 8%. Chevron plans to eliminate roughly 25% of the staff acquired with Noble Energy, which it acquired this month. Shell said its oil output likely peaked last year and its plans to cut roughly 10% of its workforce. Sanova said it will cut 25% after it buys rival Husky Energy Insurance. In Australia, more than 2,000 oil industry jobs have been cut since March, including at Exxon and Chevron. Top independent gas producer Woodside said earlier this month it would cut around 8% of its workforce.